Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Less Dependent Wisconsin. It's Easter Sunday today, so happy Easter to everybody out there. Uh, we hit almost 60 degrees today, but we've got a ways to go here in Wisconsin, but the melt is on. Should be hitting some 70s this week, too. So, anyways, today we are going to install a solar vent fan for the greenhouse. I picked it up from Home Depot, but I'll show you what we got, how I'm going to install it, and how it's going to affect the greenhouse. So, let's go get started. Not much to show you out of the box, other than the box and some bubble wrap, this is what came with it. So we've got my Home Depot receipt, we've got some placement instructions. Now my greenhouse is about 96 square feet and the one we got is good up to 200 square feet. So we're going to have to cut an 8 inch hole. For the vent, uh, we'll apply sealant and get her fixed in there. And then this is what the unit actually looked like. So there's the solar panel, not much to it actually. Solar panel shows you which direction it should point. Uh, aluminum housing seems to be made pretty well. But realistically, that's it. Just a fan back there. Uh, this is the same as running it off a battery. So uh, I did test it yesterday. It was bright and sunny. Turned it on, made sure it worked. Uh, basically, just held it in the sunlight, and the fan started turning. So let's go. Let's uh, show you the greenhouse and how I'm going to plan that. Okay. So real quick, looking at the greenhouse, it's a south-facing wall. Uh, to the right is east and to the left is west so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to install it right where the ladder is uh, so the morning sun won't activate the fan it will give the greenhouse a chance to heat up a little bit but then the late morning afternoon sun will keep the fan running and keep it cool to give you an idea right now it's about 60 degrees outside uh, i have a thermometer inside the greenhouse and it's showing it's about 90 degree degrees uh, it's kind of a cloudy day, little bits of sun here and there. Uh, during the summer last year, I had it up over 140 degrees in there. So the vent fan is really needed. Hey, my rhubarb's growing. Yay. So up on the greenhouse, see where we connect to the garage. And the rest of the greenhouse this is where we're going to put it i had a bowl that was a little larger than eight inches so i put it down to make a template and the next thing i will do is try to cut out the polycarbonate um, it's going to be a little difficult i'm going to have to drill some holes and then try to cut it out okay got the hole cut out it wasn't too terrible i just wound up running the drill and then taking some clippers and cutting it around so I'm gonna get this edge a little more cleaned up and then we'll be ready to install the vent fan okay added a little tape to seal up the individual cells so now we are ready to silicone and install it okay so I've applied silicone to the roof and to the unit okay got it in place let's run inside see how it looks from the bottom and then the last thing I'll have to do is silicone the edges. Looks pretty good from the inside. The fan is running. So we'll check this in a few minutes and see if it's actually doing anything. So I got the edges all siliconed up and I've been letting it set for about an hour. Uh, the temperature in the greenhouse is down to about 78 degrees. Uh, so it's come down off that 90. I can't tell you though whether or not the fan is what's responsible for it. You know, we did cut a hole in the roof uh, and then I did have the door to the greenhouse open for a few minutes. Uh, it adjusted over winter, so I had to fix the door so it closed properly. 
but the fans are running you can hear it i'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it for a while worst case scenario if it's not getting the temperatures low enough i might buy a second one and install it on the other end uh, but we'll see how one does for a while uh, i've got pepper plants and tomato plants that i need to get out in the greenhouse so we got to get these temperatures stabilized anyways i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching focus on being less dependent we'll see you soon have a great day